Hello. Today I'm going to be talking about different date formats and how they're encoded in software. The most common date format for computer programs is Unix time, which is counting the number of seconds that have elapsed since January 1st, 1970. Unix time is widely supported and it's easy to use because it's just a number. So you can easily calculate the difference between two time points by subtracting them. One issue with Unix time is that it's frequently stored in 32-bit signed in integers, which will roll over in 2038, which has the possibility of breaking a lot of existing computer programs. One way around this is to use floating point numbers. Floating point numbers will not roll over in 2038, and they allow you to encode time points more accurately than one second. You can also use 64-bit integers, which won't roll over until after the heat death of the universe, so it's an issue you're unlikely to run into. You also frequently want to encode calendar dates in computer programs, and this presents somewhat of a localization challenge because different regions encode calendar dates in different formats. So here in America, we traditionally say the month before the day, so we would say May 15th, and when we're writing dates, we also put the month before the day, which can lead to some confusion because in Europe, they put the day before the month. Um, so the European system goes from the smallest increment, the day, to the middle increment, the month, to the largest increment, the year. To solve this, the best strategy is probably to use isodates. Isodates are a very widely adopted standard described by ISO 8601, where you encode a date as a string in the format year, 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 dash, month, month, dash, day, day. This is natural to Americans because the month is before the day, and it's also natural to Europeans because it goes from the largest increment, the year, to the middle increment, the month, to the smallest increment, the day. Isodates also have the advantage that when they're sorted alphabetically, they're also correctly sorted chronologically, which is not true for a lot of other date formats. This makes isodates probably the best format if you're trying to encode calendar dates due to the wide support and avoiding a lot of possible pitfalls. Thanks for watching.